Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain um, on the computer here how to put the bolt lift together. So here I have a picture of, um, you know, this is a screenshot of my video that I took when I was actually there um, when I had it mostly put together. Um, so here's what it, what it looks like. You get the picture. There's obviously it's cut off, but. Um, so step one, and you can't see this, way up on top here, there's two cross beams on this side and then over on this side that you can't see. There's two beams way up high. You're going to want to put those on first, and I'll show you why. In a second here, when I can find the picture, yeah, right there. Okay, so this, and you can see my phone was oriented sideways, but basically it, go, it slides in this way, so this way male female and there's a bolt I believe right there and then uh, that hold, holds it on as well but it's mostly that bolt there and then the same on the other side um, and then do, do those two sides first and read your instructions so if your instructions conflict what I say uh, go by the instructions okay so your next step is going to is going to be to to do the lower ones so so far, if you're doing it, it the way I say it, you have this one, you know, you have the front and back, front and back. Now you're connecting the two, front and back, right here. So you're, is it, so this is, this is going side to side this way. And then you have your other one. This actually goes around the whole entire perimeter. So you want to pound these in with a plastic mallet, not a hammer, or just stick a piece of wood in between and pound it with a hammer. Get the holes lined up. Okay, you can might have to tap it sideways and like so on the other side till you get it lined up with the bolts and stick them in. These fit in very tight, so you need to pound these. Um, and again, um, you should put those ones, the beams up on top first and then put these ones on the bottom second. Okay, so then once you get down with that, you'll have the whole entire frame put together. Now it's time to do the part of the lift that actually raises up and down. So, to do that, this is basically what it looks like. This is it in the corner right here. This is actually the side piece. So, over here, you do not drive over this part because if you look up higher, um, you have the uh, beam in the way. The, the, this, this side right here is the same side you have, oh, let's see, this in the way. Okay. So... And that's this piece here that's down below so you have this welded on and this this nut and bolt right here already comes when you when you grab out when you grab the materials out of the bag or out of the whatever you call it the uh, tie wrap this bolt will come as part of this okay right out of the package these two nuts and bolts come out of a separate bag now this one here I believe doesn't do anything if I remember because it's just part of this. I think there's a piece of plastic on the back of this, but now I don't, I don't remember. I don't recall doing anything with this at all. It's just basically all you do is you take this nut off. This attaches this plastic piece back here, which you can't see. Basically, just take the nut off, slide it into this part right here, which attaches to here, and tighten it. Just tighten it with your hand. Um, I'm not sure if it's a locking nut or not, but I think just get it lukewarm tight, maybe not even lukewarm tight, because um, you don't want to get them tight yet because you want to make sure when you do the final tightening that this cable is not pinched in between this this beam and that beam. Okay, so just get them loose for now. Do that on all four sides. There's four corners of these. That's how they attach. Okay, and next is the cable. Once you got that lukewarm, or a little bit less than lukewarm, we got the, we have the cable. So this is the bottom, and you have to do the bottom first when you when you do the cable. So let me just explain something too. This loop here, whether it's a bottom loop or a top loop, will it's hard. It's, they harden it. They put a piece of uh, of metal um, around the loop so it won't bend 
So you can see that there's a hole here. Okay, there's a, there's a hole here, there's a hole in the bottom, like so, that you see there. The loop is actually too big to fit through the hole and it won't bend. So you don't have to worry about the loop going through the hole, okay? Um, I know I was very concerned about that when I put it together, but just, just be aware of that. There's nothing to worry about when it comes to that part. So basically when you do the bottom, this is a bolt. The nut's on the other side of this. Uh, going this way, you have your bolt head, you have your washer, then right behind the washer is a spacer. Now that spacer will rest right on the inside part of the, of the loop. And as you tighten it down, that spacer will bend and take shape of the loop. So that way the, the loop is nice and snug. The washer keeps the, the um, loop from coming off. This is the only spot where you actually actually have to put on a washer, um, at least on my lift, um, because the other uh, nuts have the washers built like right in. So this one they had to provide a, a, a really big washer so that so to protect this from sliding off. So again, there's that that on the other side. Now when you get to this point, you're going to want to raise the lift up. And let me just show you why. Because when you get to that point and you connect that on the bottom here, um, well you can't see, that's the carriage beam. But basically, let's just say you're doing this. You see how close this is to the ground? And you see how close... Uh, let's see, where were we here? Um, that is to the ground. Can you see how you don't have much room between the beam and the ground? So what you do is you simply loosen this tension screw right here. And you put your foot right on that plate there and pull the lift up. Do that on all four corners, raise it up. And when you go and when you're doing this part here, just leave leave the height as Deka has it in the box. Okay. But when you go to put that cable on, you're gonna need to raise it up to give yourself some more room to swing that socket wrench. Rat whatever you call it, ratchet wrench, torque wrench, whatever you have in your hand. Um, okay, so you do the bottom first. Then the only other thing that you need to make sure that you, that you do is hopefully you do not have this carriage beam upside down. So you see how this says DECA? I got this really close right here. It reads DECA. It's not upside down. If that label's upside down, you got a problem, okay? Because what's going to happen is if you put it upside down, then this is upside down. See, on, on this side, this is, let's just call it, if you call the winch side and the other and the other adjacent side the front and this the back, or vice versa, you call this the front and the other the back. doesn't make any difference. Let's just call this the back, okay? The two back corners, um, in this case, have, have two cables where the winch side and the adjacent side, whether you call, let's just call it the front, the two front corners, the winch and the other side, only have one cable going up. So, but, so when you flip that upside down, now all of a sudden, you have two cables going down and only one spot to, to hook it up. Let me see. Only one, see, there's only one spot to hook it up on the bottom. So, again, all you do is as long as you've got, as long as, you, as your label reads like so, Deka, you should be just fine. Then the only other thing that you have to worry about is whether you have it backwards or forward. And, you, and, and you'll know because, again, one side will have two hooks on top for, you know, so that's the winch side there. And then over to the right, okay, is the adjacent side. They only have one hook going up. This side away from the winch, this side and way over here, have two two so that's really simple to, to just look at so as long as you can get as long as you can get your beams that says this you'll be just fine if they're upside down no good okay so uh where are we here so we're gonna yeah so we're connecting the uh, uh cables like so okay and uh, then, then yeah, you're pretty much done. And then, well, then see my video on the winch.
if you have a power winch otherwise I don't I never put the uh, circle winch on so I can't uh, help you with the manual winch um, but uh, that's yeah once you get that far you're, you're pretty much done now the bunk is really simple I had the the boat bunk basically there's a bracket you know if you have the same thing I I, I did if you have a, a fishing boat I had a bracket here and a bracket here it's just a you know bolt going through and take a look at it while you're in, while you're in the at the shop or go to a dealer and look at it but it, it's really simple just bolts on the top put one bolt through there's there's basically a it's, it's like perforated like a stop like a like a um, uh, like a street sign you know it's perforated and you get to pick what hole you want basically you stick one you stick you stick one on, you stick like one like street sign post, if you will, on this side, one on that side, and you take a bolt on top and a bolt on, or bolt on the bottom and a bolt on top, and you just tighten them together, and they basically clamp right on. Very easy, okay? And what I did is I actually measured, I believe I went 18 inches off center on both sides, but uh, you'll fit, you'll be able to figure that out. The bunk is pretty simple, and they're, they're, easily adjustable um, you know if you have it wrong you can always adjust them later um, it does you know um, so that's something you can easily play with later on so anyway I hope that helps oh and then I and then one other thing I want to mention okay so let's go back over to here so on top here where we have the two and I believe this actually is on all four corners these are double nutted on this particular model because they're not the locking nut now what I actually did is I actually tightened even the bottom nut all the way down to where this actually touches the metal because um, I, I had slack in my cable so that reduced all the slack that I had. Um, yours might vary um, so they give you some room they give you some wiggle room right here to level it differently to make sure that it stays nice and level again I just tightened mine all the way because it straightened out the cable uh, to the max okay um so again i think i believe on the wider models they give you the nylon nuts here these are not the locking nuts so these need to be doubled on top because otherwise they'll slip 